Hey, -o, welcome back, everybody. to some more StarCraft 2. We're once again taking some, taking a look at some games from DreamHack. This is a new best of three series. Let's go ahead and introduce our two new players. In the top left-hand corner of the map of Aklon Waste. It is Millennium's 4GG. And on the southeast side of the map. A man who uh, had just recently won the... I don't know if this is the single biggest prize ever in StarCraft history, but it probably is. Uh, I'm from drawing a blank, but he won the winner-take-all $100,000 tournament at DreamHack. SOS. <laughs> that dude, that dude was... I've never seen anybody so happy to win a StarCraft event. That was quite crazy. But yes, a uh, uh, now uh, new 100,000 air SOS, our red Protoss player in the bottom right-hand corner of the map. So once again, it's Monday, the beginning of the week, and more StarCraft II commentaries. Uh, as usual, I post, post all my new casts uh, on Monday. If you guys are you know, just curious about my schedule, new StarCraft every Monday. So, up in the top left, 4GG. Going for a barracks opening first. And SOS going for a fairly early... I don't even... This is definitely... I don't I don't think this is a scout. I wonder what he's going to do here. It might be a scout. Yeah, it's definitely going to look for that proxy or uh, command center down there. Um, I was thinking he was going to proxy, but no, he already has his gateway down. He still could proxy a Stargate. If he feels like it. Barracks out Marines being produced, and this is definitely going to be a command center after that. And will he... What's he going to do? Is he just going to annoy this SCP? Nah, he's just going to... They're just both going to go take a nice walk. So the command center will go down. I'm pretty sure he saw that there was double gas. Okay, there's yet yeah, gas not taken at least. Uh, so he knows there's going to be command center going down. Now what is going to be his response? He's got his cybernetic core hidden down here in the bottom right hand corner. And just doing some chrono boost still on gas. This could easily be a, uh, a nexus follow up. You know, he does anticipate a command center from his opponent, so... Uh, yep, definitely going to be a Nexus. Has more than enough minerals up here. Whoa. There goes the Nexus. So the macro has begun for both of these players. Warp gate going down. So not going to see any uh, super fast stargates here, obviously. And of course, there's no second gas until I say that word right now. Second gas goes up. But this SCP, he's just... He snagged himself some minerals. And now he's uh, just doing a little bit of a tour. Heard there's an open house. And I... Okay. I was curious why this uh, probe was over there. If he was hiding from that worker, he's like, ah, oh, I'll never suspect I put a pile on my own base. I'll trick him by hiding it over here. But no, he's just uh, putting it over there just because that's where he just likes to put his gateways, I guess. Mothership core out. That's uh, She can sit up there in the front and do some defense. Likewise, our blue Terran player, 4GG, is throwing some Marines down here at the front. Command center being built, and uh, that's finally done. Going to switch that to an orbital, start to produce, and the bio is about to be released from 4GG's base. Three barracks follow up. Uh, probably see a factory coming up here as soon as he gets his first 100 gas, or maybe a reactor if he wants to get that out a little bit quicker, or tech lab. There's a tech lab, so probably see some stim coming out of there, make some marauders, it's always good stuff. Good stuff for a Protoss player to have to deal with. Sentry being made. Two gateways up here. And at this point, both players are just kind of chilling. Wanting to work out the game a little bit, you know, we got the uh, the 15 minute no rush rule. They probably agreed on that in the chat, you know, before the game started in the lobby. <laughs> I'm pretty sure a lot of pro players do that. Just like, alright, let's just agree not to attack each other for the first 15 minutes. Drag this out and see what happens. So Stim's going down. Stalker. Just uh, keep an eye on things, making sure that nothing sneaks by him. Pylon from the SOS over here in the top right hand corner. Of course, uh, you can't put a pylon here and then warp it over here, which is... Definitely a lot of fun, even if the rocks are down. It just gives you a little bit of a way to harass that third base. So Stalker, uh, quick on the pullback there. Doesn't lose almost anything. Seeing there's a decent amount of uh, bio coming out, so he knows what he's up against. Doesn't see any stim yet, doesn't see any combat shields. But of course, you know, we're only 6 minutes and 45 seconds into the game. So, okay, this probe, SOS being extremely sneaky. Uh, we do have sentries out. 
with a, a, a okay amount of energy. We do have a mothership core. Okay, we did have a mothership core to defend this, but there's going to be... There's not much to defend this here. We've got a lot of marines. Stim is not yet done. Zenon's only halfway done, but he's got a stalker, three sentries, and a z two zealots. Three zealots. He should have enough to deal with this force field. Gonna be pretty bad, <laughs> to say the least. Uh, he didn't even block off the left, and he messed up the second one, so... Anyways, these are gonna be a little bit better. No, doesn't even need to force field. He's just gonna A move straight on into this. SOS knows exactly what he needs to push this army back. Now, three stalkers coming in from behind, and this uh, little army of 4GG gets shut down handily, only losing, I think, like three zealots. I scratched that two zealots for seven marines. That's a good trade, and he's gonna lose the rest of these guys. Stalkers up here at the front, picking off some reinforcements from the marines. And look at this Mothership Core throwing down time warp, gonna start picking off stuff. SOS turning on the overdrive. He's pushing units out. SCV's retreating. 4GG's gonna have to sacrifice this base. Warpin's coming down. This is just a straight up 5 gate coming out of SOS. And now he smells blood in the water. Pylon going down on the high ground. He doesn't even care about that natural. He's gonna go straight up to the top here. He's gonna try and kill that tech lab. Ah, oh, it's stim is so close to getting done it gets done and uh, even with the force fields there the stim does get down but i don't even know if it's going to matter there's uh there's not that many marines left and there's a lot of protoss up here pylon being warped in uh he's going to warp in some zealots and this is looking really bad here for 4gg it's looking like sos is just going to put the nail in the coffin here and bury 4gg underneath the mass grave that is going to be these scvs here uh, trying to do a little bit of sneaky moves there with those SCVs just dropping so quickly. So many stalkers. This is going to be GG before GG. There it is. Before GG drops it. Drops the GG. And SOS takes the first victory in this best of three series for DreamHack. Group play. Group stage C. Thank you guys for watching. You can follow me on Twitter at Iachikino. Um, uh, check out more of my stuff. I'm going to have uh, some more... Um, Arma 3 Altus Life's videos tomorrow. Actually, not videos. Video tomorrow, if you're interested in that. Um, and check back for some more StarCraft. Also, and some more Hearthstone on Friday and Saturday, usually. Check it out there. Watch me play Arena Run. And it usually goes t fairly terribly or fairly good. <laughs> it's very polar whenever I play Arena Run. Anyways, see you guys later.